there was something that they could do that might open up a door to a parallel universe. You don't think they would do it? Deep underground, where the most powerful scientific instrument ever built operates, something extraordinary and entirely unexpected occurred. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, a marvel of human ingenuity stretching 27 miles in circumference, was designed to unlock the secrets of particle physics. Read this that kid. Look at what it says there. He claims it's CERN destroyed the universe during recent experiments, which has resulted in us living in a nearby parallel universe instead. Scientists believe they were simply colliding tiny particles, pushing the limits of energy to recreate the universe's infant moments. But what if they accidentally went too far, tearing open a minuscule, unstable quantum singularity? The event registered as an anomaly so profound, so utterly bizarre, that it made seasoned researchers gasp. The raw data told a story that shattered their understanding, revealing something truly unsettling. The unforeseen tear, a glimpse beyond. For years, the experiments proceeded with expected, albeit world-changing results. The discovery of the Higgs boson, for instance, confirmed a missing piece in our understanding of mass, a monumental achievement that reshaped physics textbooks overnight. But what many overlooked is that each experiment pushed the boundaries further, closer to the edge of the known. The energy levels achieved within the collider are mind-boggling, reaching up to 13 trillion electron volts. To put it mildly, this is like taking two tiny mosquitoes and giving them the kinetic energy of a flying jumbo jet before they collide. The scale of energy concentrated into such small spaces is truly a wow factor, something difficult for the average mind to even grasp. Then came the day, a day that would forever be etched in the annals of theoretical physics, not for a predictable discovery, but for an event so shocking, so utterly out of bounds, that it sent a shiver down the spines of even the most hardened researchers. The official reports are carefully worded, full of scientific jargon designed to obscure, rather than reveal, the true terror of what happened. You see, but not all things are what they seem. Many people are crazy about the idea of uncovering new dimensions or parallel universes, but the thing nobody tells you is the sheer overwhelming unpreparedness for such an encounter. The data logs from that day describe an unprecedented energy fluctuation in one of the detector points, Atlas. It wasn't just a spike, it was a sudden violent tearing in the fabric of the energy readings. The instruments, designed to withstand unimaginable forces, registered an event that was, by all conventional understanding, impossible. A quantum singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume, much like the heart of a black hole but on an incredibly tiny scale, was theorized to be an impossibility at these energy levels, especially in a controlled environment. Yet the signatures were unmistakable. An instant of immense gravitational distortion, an area where the very laws of physics seemed to break down, appeared and vanished in less than a billionth of a second. The most shocking fact is, this wasn't just a theoretical blip. The detectors, intricate machines with millions of channels and layers of sensitive material captured something more. They recorded an outpouring of data, an influx of exotic particles and energy readings that didn't fit any known model. It was as if for a fleeting moment a minuscule crack had appeared and through it something utterly alien had spilled into our reality. This wasn't dark matter, nor was it a new flavor of quark. This was something entirely different, carrying properties that defied classification. The scale of this unexpected interaction, occurring within a space smaller than a single atom, yet releasing energy equivalent to several thousands of normal proton collisions, was a true marvel and a frightening one at that. And you can see this everywhere in the hushed tones and nervous glances among the top scientists. The thing nobody tells you is how close they came to something truly unknown. What was truly inside that fleeting tear? The impossible particles. The initial shock at CERN slowly gave way to an urgent, almost frantic period of analysis. The data, millions upon millions of gigabytes, was scrutinized with a fervor unlike anything seen before. The team worked around the clock, fueled by caffeine and a mix of dread and exhilaration. They had, to put it mildly, shattered a quantum singularity, or at least created a phenomenon that behaved suspiciously like one. 
The energy readings from that moment were unprecedented, showing a localized energy density that momentarily surpassed anything theorized to be possible in such a controlled setting. It was as if the fabric of space-time itself had momentarily buckled, then snapped back, leaving behind an afterglow of bizarre information. What truly dropped them to their knees, however, wasn't just the existence of this transient singularity. It was the inside, the exotic debris and energetic signatures that emerged from its brief existence. Researchers found traces of particles with fractional charges, not the neat whole numbers expected by our standard model of particle physics. These weren't hypothetical particles. These were actual detection events, recorded with undeniable precision by multiple layers of the detector. Imagine measuring something that should be one and getting one-third or two-thirds. It completely rewrote the rulebook for what particles could fundamentally exist. The most shocking fact is these fractional charged particles didn't seem to interact with the strong nuclear force, which usually binds quarks together. This implies a whole new realm of subatomic existence, a layer of reality we've never even conceived of. Furthermore, anomalies in the space-time geometry were detected immediately surrounding the brief tear. Gravitational sensors, usually sensitive enough to detect minute tremors from miles away, registered a momentary but intense localized gravitational anomaly. It was as if a tiny, invisible hand had momentarily warped the very structure of space within the detector chamber. This wasn't a ripple. It was a localized, intense pull, like a miniature black hole existing for an unthinkably short period. What many overlooked is that these fleeting gravitational distortions paired with the exotic particles suggested a temporary opening, however infinitesimal, to another domain of physics. The implications were staggering. If these fractional charged particles, dubbed phantoms by some of the more poetic researchers, truly existed, they represented a profound challenge to the very foundation of quantum mechanics. It suggested that there might be fundamental forces or dimensions at play that we are only now beginning to perceive. The thing nobody tells you is how deeply unsettling it is for a scientific theory so meticulously built over centuries to suddenly show such a glaring crack. It forces a complete reevaluation of everything. And you can see this everywhere in the intense, often silent debates that grip the CERN campus. The question wasn't just what they found, but what else might be out there lurking just beyond our observational reach? What hidden forces were at play, and what could they reveal about our universe's true nature? Multiverse whispers. The data continued to pour forth even after the initial singularity event had subsided. The long-term effects on the detectors themselves, to put it mildly, were unexpected. Superconducting magnets cooled to temperatures colder than deep space showed subtle but persistent anomalies in their magnetic fields, as if some residual energy from the event was still subtly affecting them. The thing nobody tells you is how a discovery like this ripples outwards, not just in theory, but in the very machinery designed to probe reality. What many overlooked is the idea that quantum singularities, even fleeting ones, could have lasting, subtle impacts on the environment around them. The concept of a quantum singularity itself is intertwined with some of the most mind-bending ideas in physics. While classical singularities are found in black holes, quantum theory predicts that at scales smaller than the Planck length, and incredibly tiny, 6.2 times 10 to the negative 35th inches, the very notion of space and time as we know it might break down. The event at CERN, however brief, hinted at a glimpse into this realm, suggesting that at immense energies, these theoretical points could momentarily manifest. This is a true wow factor pushing the boundaries of what was once considered pure science fiction. The subsequent analysis focused on the unusual behavior of existing particles within the collider after the incident. Protons, once precisely controlled, exhibited tiny, almost imperceptible deviations in their trajectories as if they were encountering a new, subtle resistance. It was less than a hair's breadth of change, but enough to trigger sensitive instruments. This phenomenon led many to speculate that the singularity might have momentarily stitched our reality to another, creating a temporary, almost ghostly connection. The idea of a multiverse, once relegated to philosophical discussions, suddenly gained a terrifyingly tangible, if ephemeral, piece of evidence. 
And you can see this everywhere in the renewed interest in theories of extra dimensions, where our universe might be just one brain among many, floating in a higher dimensional space. The most shocking fact is that even minute energy transfers across these potential boundaries could have profound implications for gravity and fundamental forces. This wasn't just about finding new particles, it was about understanding the very weave of existence. The fractional charge particles, the gravitational anomalies, the subtle changes in particle trajectories all pointed to a universe far more complex and interconnected than previously imagined. Could it be that the barrier between our familiar four dimensions and other unseen dimensions was not as impenetrable as we once thought? This terrifying thought captivated and terrified the scientists. The pursuit of knowledge had suddenly veered into the unknown, leading them to a precipice where the rules they knew no longer applied. They had opened a door, but they had no idea what truly lay on the other side. What other secrets were hidden just beyond our reach, waiting to be revealed? Reality's Unseen Layers the whispers around to CERN grew louder, fueled by the relentless analysis of the singularity event. Scientists, once focused on the standard model, found themselves grappling with concepts that felt more like ancient mythology than cutting-edge physics. The thing nobody tells you about groundbreaking discoveries is the immense pressure, the mix of fear and wonder that comes with stepping into truly uncharted territory. Many people are crazy about the idea of alternate realities, but to actually confront evidence of them is a different beast entirely. What many overlooked at first was the subtle yet consistent pattern in the anomalies. Further experiments, conducted with extreme caution and at lower energy levels, surprisingly yielded faint echoes of the original event. These were not direct recreations, but rather residual signatures in the quantum field, like ripples after a stone has been dropped in water, persisting far longer than expected. These echoes manifested as momentary, minuscule shifts in the vacuum energy, an almost imperceptible hum that suggested a fundamental change in the local space-time. It was as if the fabric of our universe at that specific point was forever altered, holding a faint memory of the extraordinary event. This persistent anomaly, despite its subtlety, was a major wow factor, confirming that the initial event was no fluke. The research then turned to the theoretical frameworks that could possibly explain these strange phenomena. String theory, with its 11 dimensions, suddenly gained a chilling new relevance. Loop quantum gravity, which attempts to quantize space-time itself, offered intriguing pathways to understanding the tear. The idea of compactified dimensions, curled up so small we can't detect them, became less abstract and more like a potential roadmap to what they had accidentally stumbled upon. The most shocking fact is that the energy required to unfurl even a tiny part of such a dimension could be within the LHC's reach, making the initial singularity event a terrifying proof of concept. But it wasn't just about theoretical validation. The scientists began to wonder if the information they were receiving, these exotic particle signatures and gravitational whispers, were not just random emissions but something akin to a signal. Not a message in the conventional sense, but an imprint, a unique fingerprint from whatever lay beyond the singularity. Could these subtle shifts be a form of communication, a glimpse into the fundamental properties of another universe, or even another layer of our own? The implications sent shivers down their spines. The search for the smallest particles had inadvertently led them to ponder the largest questions, questions about the very nature of existence itself. And you can see this everywhere in the intense debates and late-night whiteboard sessions where the lines between physics and metaphysics blurred. The thing nobody tells you is that when you push the limits of reality, reality might just push back. What if something had not only been revealed but had also been changed forever? The initial shock and scientific fervor at CERN eventually settled into a cautious, yet profound, understanding. They had, to put it mildly, glimpsed something truly monumental. The lingering quantum echoes and subtle shifts in experimental data hinted at a reality far more fluid and interconnected than previously conceived. What many overlooked in the immediate aftermath was the possibility that such a dramatic event, however fleeting, might have left an indelible mark not just on their instruments, but on the very quantum field surrounding our world. 
The long-term analysis, spanning months and even years, revealed something truly unsettling. While no new singularities were deliberately created, a pattern began to emerge in unrelated high-energy experiments across the globe. Small, statistically anomalous fluctuations in particle decay rates, subtle shifts in the background cosmic microwave radiation, and even tiny, unexpected gravitational ripples were observed. These were not directly linked to CERN, you see, but not all things are what they seem. It suggested a subtle, universal ripple effect from the initial event, as if the fabric of reality itself had been stretched and was slowly, almost imperceptibly, settling back into place, but not quite as it was before. This global, albeit tiny, influence was an undeniable wow factor, showing the interconnectedness of fundamental forces. The CERN singularity story continues to spark debate. What unbelievable truths might still be hidden in plain sight? Like and subscribe to keep exploring reality's edge.